What are the privacy implications of invasive brain-computer interfaces, such as those embedded directly onto the cortex of a person? Oh, there are innumerable of them. Have you heard of the field of neurovics? Tell me more. First, invasive BCI allow for the direct manipulation of cognition and emotion through targeted neurostimulation. Furthermore, they allow direct manipulation of memory, which is a scary prospect for those who value their privacy. Finally, invasive BCI also offer the possibility of being hacked directly by a computer without being aware that one's brain has been hacked. This could potentially lead to situations where one is being manipulated without realizing that this is so. How could this be avoided? You could use a BCI that is non-invasive, such as an EEG or fMRI. However, the accuracy of these techniques isn't nearly as high as invasive BCI, and they are less effective at directly stimulating the brain. Because of this, many people are choosing invasive BCI for their greater effectiveness in trading off your privacy for increased performance, although some people may prefer more privacy. So, why are people choosing invasive BCI? Humans are largely attracted by what they can do with technology. Think of how much people like to use social media sites like Facebook and Twitter, for example. People want their friends to see what they're doing, even if it's bad things that they're doing. It's no surprise that many would choose an invasive BCI if the potential benefits outweighed the privacy concerns. What are the privacy costs of invasive BCI? Well, as mentioned before, a person can be manipulated without realizing that this is so. This leaves the possibility that one's privacy could be violated without even knowing it. People have fallen prey to the machinations of others through this method, which is a heavy burden to bear. The privacy issues with invasive BCI also tend to be more severe because they offer a more direct route to gaining data than other more indirect methods. This also means that someone's ability to maintain their privacy can depend largely on the skill of their hacker. Sounds like it's worth avoiding invasive brain implants altogether. Yes. Do you think that this will happen? I think it's likely. Unfortunately, invasive BCI are just too powerful and tempting for many people to pass up. A technology often becomes more widely used because of its benefits to the people who use it. There are many people who would rather lose their privacy than not be able to access the internet through an implant in their brain. Wow! That is a scary possibility. Yeah, it's a real problem. When will this happen? It already is. The first invasive BCI was implanted into a human in 2004. Since then, they've only become more commonly used and invasive methods have been developed to make them even better. This will result in a future where more and more people use invasive BCI to give up their privacy for a set of benefits that they find useful. So how can this problem be solved? I think that it's largely a problem of education. People need to be made aware of how invasive these devices are and how they can be manipulated. I imagine that this can be done through public awareness campaigns and real-life demonstrations. This should help people who are considering using invasive BCI to consider alternative possibilities so they can gain some privacy instead. What do you think the future of privacy is going to be like? I think it's going to be a very different world. We'll all have neuroimplants, but without our knowledge of how invasive they are. This will also lead to many people having more control over what information about themselves and others is revealed, as well as how it's used for their benefit or detriment. OST information will be pushed to the background as a commodity to be traded upon. How does this affect people in the future? I think it will lead to a lot of social upheaval, but eventually, people will create new ways to control information that they want to control. I imagine that some people will choose to use these new tools to gain more power over information that they feel is being pushed upon them by others. Do you see any other problems with the future of privacy? I think that if it continues in this direction, people will end up living in their own personal worlds constructed by them alone. This is not a very healthy way to live, but it's definitely an interesting concept. How will people do this? I imagine that they'll create algorithms that extrapolate information from the outside world and create their own realities. It will be somewhat similar to how the matrix works, 
only with more direct manipulation of information instead of just relying on someone else's decisions. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I think that this could lead to more social strife and not less. How can this be resolved? I imagine that there will be markets of information with different values. It will be similar to how people trade stocks, but instead of stock price, it will be information about them and others. This information may even be sold privately as a service to interested parties. This would allow someone to control how much information is revealed about them and how. It would make it a lot easier to maintain one's privacy or even to manipulate information about others. You mentioned that people would be manipulated. Is this going to happen? For everyone, yes. It will be possible for anyone to make someone do anything that they want by manipulating the person's perception of the world around them. Why is this the case? I think it will become an issue because of how much information there is. With so much information available, people will naturally try to filter out what they don't want to see and focus on information that they do want to see. However, an algorithm that can be used to manipulate one's perception of reality by manipulating their information could make it hard for people to tell what is real and what isn't. This means that no one can be sure about anything anymore. That's pretty serious. Does anyone have an answer to this problem? I know that a lot of people will advocate for the use of algorithms that are open source and are controlled by the government. This would give people full oversight and control over what information they receive. I think this will be troubling if a large corporation can come in and offer a better service with better features, since people may choose their service instead of the government's. This may be the next step in the direction of making people more dependent on external datasets to maintain their privacy. That's really upsetting. What else can be done to resolve this? I don't have any ideas for resolving this problem, but it's something that needs to be addressed. I don't think that it's something that can be resolved without major social change. Do you have any other conclusions or anything else you'd like to add? I think that privacy is going to become more important, but it will also become more difficult to maintain. It will be important for people to develop new methods of maintaining privacy in the future, but this may take some time. I think the best thing people can do is make sure they're not unknowingly giving their information away. This may not do much if the information is already public, but it can be a good first step. Great! Do you have anything else to add? That's it. I think that's all I wanted to say, but if anything occurs to me later on, I'll let you know. All right, thanks for your time. Bye.